shop and we're going to make a pencil box for my school project. All right, let's get started. <laughs> Take measure on out, push this down to lock it, push it all the way down to lock it. Now you can let go of this so it won't go back in. Alright. Now draw, hold this down, and draw you a line right on the number eight. No 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 no. Okay. See where the this is eight inches? Oh just a line. Yeah, just kind of mark where eight inches is. Okay, that's good. So you can get this out of the way. And take this. Okay. This is called a square. Put it on the side of the wood. Line your pencil mark up to the edge of that speed square. Now draw your line straight across. There you go. So just put your safety glasses on. Your ear protection. Ear protection. Okay. I want you to hold that just like that. All right, we're going to cut. And there's a trigger right here. See this trigger? Yeah. Push that in and then squeeze the trigger and it's gonna cause that blade to cut. You wanna do this? I don't know. Over here. Okay. Don't put your hand there. Okay. Put your hand up here. Get the thumb there. Now watch. See what I'm doing right here, lady? Mm -hmm. I'm lining this blade up. See where that blade's touching that line? Mm -hmm. So we want to keep the line and everything this side of it. Okay. Always start the blade up here and then work into it. Don't put the blade on the wood and then start to kick it back. Okay. Start the blade. <laughs> figure out we need to enclose this opening so we need to figure out the measurement for that okay so how do we go about getting a measurement for this and we can start with a tape measure oh yeah okay i figured as much so what would we measure we measure the bottom to the top bottom to the top okay actually we're two and three sixteenths okay so now what other measurement do we need to get? Side to side. Side to side, okay. Two inches. Okay, so these are our sides, these two. This is our bottom, our front, our back, and this is our lid and the pull, and we just need to cut this down a little bit on the bandsaw. So that's what we'll do now. Squeeze as you go down. This kind of smear it on, place it right on top of this box, or at the bottom, excuse me. Mm -hmm. 
right, so now put some glue around those edges. All the way up? Or yeah, look, once you spread that out, you can take your finger and put it up here. All right. <laughs> all right, now just smear all that on there. Just set that. That's in there. So, so. Okay. And just see if the space, hold it up here like this. It's that, see what line it's laying on? Mm -hmm. Edge of this. All right, so let's go over here and see if that's about right. So, mark just a little bitty line. So we'll know where to put it. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I told you. Right on that little mark that we made. Mm -hmm. Ooh, like that little mark's really good. See all that glue that squeezed out? Mm -hmm. So we'll let that dry. Mm -hmm. But that's the lid. Okay, so you can see we have some cracks, you know, some, some gaps in the wood. We can do this. Just kind of dab some glue, not a whole lot, in the cracks like this. And then we can take some of this and just kind of roll it around, roll it around, get the glue and the sawdust mixed up. And we can go back and sand it off and see how that fit under, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the same color as the wood. Cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just kind of sprinkle it on there. All in the glue. <laughs> just keep doing it. Put more. Just spread it all over. <laughs> sprinkle it all over. All over. More. <laughs> okay, now just take it and roll it around. I don't think I did this right. You keep going, you're doing good. niece has left the shop and we completed the pencil box this is a class project that she had to complete and the requirements were had to be a lidded box and she came up with the sliding uh, lid herself and she also came up with the pencil box uh, herself so that, those were her ideas I just helped her along the way um, she had to get measurements on a few things which she did the video documents that but she also got the sand and cut with a miter saw and do some finishing and it's just overall good good experience. Um, it was a win-win situation for both of us. She got to finish her class project and I got to introduce a young person to woodworking. So win-win all around. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.